common problem in any given Julieta. The trunk floors are, have the propensity to rust out. And sometimes it's also contained inside the strap locations that holds the gas tank underneath the car. So, now these cars have bead rolls in the floor to reinforce the floor to give it a little more strength and so it doesn't flex and make a tin can sound. Anyhow, so I am making only the part that we need to make. Now, the rail is right here, and these rails are really well known. They're underneath the car. They're really well known for rusting. So if you're in the market for a Julietta, you really need to do a lot of looking around to make sure that the car itself is not in the dilapidated state. Um, this particular car is pretty good, and uh, although it does have this rust, but for a 58 short wheelbase car, it's a really solid shape. So anyway, what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be I'm making the, the template now, and then uh, we will uh, start making the trunk floor. And uh, so you see how that goes.
All right, so as you can see, this floor section is going well. I put my bead rolls in to sniff the floor up. I put my radius sweep in here to create that edge going up the wall, and everything else is in place. I have my hole for my wiring coming in and the hole for the battery strap. I still have to weld in on the bottom side a nut for the battery securing system. Now I'm going to put the car in the air. I'm going to mark on the back side where the rail is. That way I know where to put my relief holes to start welding this down to its cross members. That's what's next. Okay, so in my car I have a 67 GTB that I drive religiously and it is a very hot 2 liter motor in that car. However, it doesn't get that hot up here in the northwest, but when it does get hot, that car has a hard time staying cool because of the radiator that's in it. It's not the original 1600 radiator. Um, 1600 radiator typically won't keep a 2 liter motor uh, cool as it should, um, especially in warmer climates. But anyway. So it started to fumble through situations. We were working with a really good customer of ours who has a, um, a factory assembled race prep 65 GTB and had an awful lot of GTA parts on it. One of the parts that still had it was the radiator and the oil cooler. So that radiator and oil cooler was taken to a top notch radiator um, fabrication shop. We didn't want this made out of aluminum. We wanted it made just like it was. However, we wanted to have a higher cooling capacity for those who are running in their step nose or in their supers or their TIs, as the radiator is the same. Um, if they're running bigger motors, they need higher cooling capacity, especially if they're creating the racing high performance motors. So what we have done is we have come up with a GTA exact replica. Now, the top can on these is a little tighter on the angles than the original, but for the most part, this is dimensionally exactly like a GTA. This is made out of brass and copper. Now, this isn't your normal everyday radiator, however. This thing is thick. The radiator inside this is dimpled, so we have over 25% higher cooling capacity in this core. Now, you think about that for a minute. Aluminum is, it's okay, but it does have its drawbacks Aluminum, if it doesn't have the ability to wick the cooling capacity out, you tend to have problems with keeping the car at that ideal sweet spot. And aluminum, at times, has that issue. We've noticed that the reproduction version of this in aluminum, if you had a 2 liter and you're on warmer climate, you're probably having a hard time keeping that car cool. Whereas, with if it was made out of brass and copper, with the oil cooler in conjunction, this is going to provide a ton of cooling capacity. So. Essentially what we have done, and we're going to be going to market on this in a couple of weeks, really, really close, um, we have now got a GTA exact replica, but higher efficiency, that's the operative word here, higher efficiency, uh, radiator. So now if you have that step nose or that TI or that super, you can now use an exact replica radiator and oil cooler and all the hardware that comes with it and still run a 2 liter and not have cooling issues. Stay tuned for this. This is great. I'm glad we got past the, uh, the hurdle on this. Um, these are really well constructed. It's made out of high quality copper and high quality brass. No, no expenses are spared. And the beautiful part about this is, this is going to be affordable. Absolutely affordable. So stay tuned. of our uh, Julietta trunk floor repair. You remember that when we started this job it was just this metal that we had to replicate including the bead rolls, the drop in for the tanks, and the battery tie downs and everything that go with it. Now with that said when we made the repairs 
we decided with customer's approval to use a Teflon based uh, texture system to put in here. Now this is a tintable system. This means that we can add paint to it and match the exterior pretty well. So what we end up doing is we end up using a tintable texture, a Teflon based texture, which means it'll stay like this forever and more importantly it'll protect this floor from ever having issues with it again. So once we made the repairs, we went ahead, textured it, and now when the car is driving, no matter what the weather conditions are, trunks tend to be a little bit damp because they run in a vacuum. But at this point, it's almost who cares because we have this coating system on here that water can't get through. It's unpenetrable for the most part. This is essentially the same kind of system that's used in truck bed liners nowadays. The difference is, is this has got a lot of Teflon in it, so it has this uh, somewhat, almost like this gloss finish to it that stays there. And it's really, really durable. Um, if this were to be a concourse car, of course we wouldn't do anything like this, but this is a car that is a driver friendly car. It's going to be used in all facets. So this is what we ended up doing. Okay, wrapping up what happened here, when we changed out the floor here, the seam sealer, which is right here inside the floor, was actually holding up against the metal behind the bumper. What we didn't see originally was is there was substantial rust that was right here that came all the way through. So we had to cut that out put in new metal, and then paint this area. Now this is a 50 plus year old paint job. It is very difficult to exact match 50 year old paint because you have to compensate for the oxidation of the years and that the pigments of what we produce paint with nowadays is not the same what we did years ago. So anyway, we were able to do a really good blend. I don't know if you can see it, but right here is a haze line. That's right where the fresh paint meets the old paint. We're gonna come back and feather this out with a little bit of uh, 1500, 2000 sanding polish it out and you'll never know that this has happened. Um, but essentially this is the conclusion of repairs of the floor in this Julietta.